Hey, I'm Nick with Nick's Nonsense. Thank you for watching. We are going to have some fun today. Do all kinds of crazy things. Sometimes cool, sometimes yucky. Yeah, watch and enjoy. Alright everyone, welcome to part 3 of repairing this 1972 StarCraft camper. So, it rained all morning today. Yeah. It's wet inside, we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to work on trying to seal the roof today because it's all wet, but with this sun coming out, yeah, it might dry it quick. So we'll see, maybe that'll be part of working on the camper today. But until it dries, what we're gonna be working on is maybe pulling a few electrical wires and maybe something on the walls. So, check out part three. All right, so here we can see water's been getting in, and on that type of wood, oh no, that's a bad thing. Um, coming in from up here somewhere, it's actually hiding because we really actually have some wood there, but yeah, it's going to be at the edge of the ceiling, or edge of the roof. Let's see if we can see anything here. Yeah, somewhere in that area. It got bright out, so yeah, maybe we'll be able to work on that later. Okay, otherwise, inside here, we got one more leaky spot down here. Yeah, wet, wet. There it is, wet. Look, sunlight. Sunlight, lots of sunlight. All right, yeah. Definitely need to work on that. A lot of leaks, not a good thing. Yeah. Okay, right now we're working on some wiring. This is just going to be the uh, tail lights and side lights. So we're cheating. We're just going to go up and over and tie it up right here. This way it will be easy to get at. Okay, here we are in the wobbly trailer. We're going to be mounting a circuit breaker panel here. Yeah, it's overkill, but that way it's done right. Well, maybe not right, but that way we can control which breakers we want to turn off and on. Okay, let's drop just a hair. This bottom one's a really heavy duty pressure treated board. This one's not going to go in as easy. <laughs> Should we go up high like that? Yeah, probably. I don't know why. There's probably a reason, but it just seems like those bottom ones are always upside down. <laughs> to go. There it is. Alright, break our panel in. Alright, we're working on wiring still, so now we're doing the actual electrical wire. This board wasn't very good, so we're just removing it. This wire wasn't going where we wanted it to go, so we're removing that too. But yeah, so we got our breaker panel mounted. Um, we got one wire coming up and in, we have another wire that's going to start the outlet circle here, and we're just hopping through around the ring of the camper here, and we're going to have outlets, 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 and yeah, we'll probably go at, all the way up to that corner, so I think we're short there, some of these wires were already ran, but that's not going to reach, so... Yeah, we're going to have to rig that up, probably replace that jumper there. And then we'll do some lighting wiring. And then that's all for now for wiring. Okay, because our roof was leaking like crazy earlier today, we're prioritizing getting some patching on it. So we got this 
all weather roof cement. This stuff is like really goopy and sticky. So let's hope we don't break our spatula here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. This thing's like straining. So what we're doing is we're getting in some smaller containers. We're not quite ready to do it yet, but we want it to sit out in the sun, wherever the sun went, and warm up. Because the warmer it is, the more easy it'll be to spread out. Because look at how stiff it is right now. I mean, that would not be fun trying to smooth out over our cracks. We don't want to, Ronnie. So I don't think we want to put in the microwave. We might make our supper taste bad too. Yeah. But we want a little bit easier to spread than this if possible. We don't want it so bad we drip it all down the side of the camper. So if after this you see all these black streaks, you know what happened. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're doing right now. Just putting this in these containers, then we're going to work on the wires a little bit more while the sun, which finally came out, warms us up. All right, that little spatula is taking forever. We're going to dip the sour cream in here, jiggle it like some licorice, black licorice flavored jello, and then here comes. I don't even know what to call it. The slow waterfall. The evil waterfall. It's black. Okay, we're done with the wiring for today because we need to get working on that roof. Seal that up. So, we ran some ceiling lights. Wires, not the lights, but the wires. And we ran some wall outlets. Some were already there but they weren't perfect so we filled in some of the missing gaps and yeah got three ceiling lights with a light switch prepped and a whole bunch of outlets lots of outlets all right and there's our breaker panel okay here we are on the roof <laughs> spreading the goop yeah the middle of the roof doesn't look too bad, but the seams, the seams need it, so at least the sun came out got nice and hot, so we're able to spread some goop on the seams. Yeah, hopefully this will stop the leaks for a little while. Seems nice and thick. As it dries. Yeah, this black stuff is pretty good. We'll see how long it holds up, but it's pretty thick. As long as it dries so that it stays in place. I think it might work for a few years. Okay. Okay, spreading the goop on the roof. Yeah, nice hot sunny day for it. Rained earlier, flooded the camper, but. Hopefully no more. Hopefully no more after we put the goop on. All right, here, just an update. Been on the roof or near the roof for about an hour so far. Maybe just a little shy of an hour. But yeah, slow going. There's like a big seam right here, and that's why we had so much water down in there. So put a lot of goop there. Wrapping it over the edge because the seam ends right there. Yeah, a lot of goop. Hopefully it works. Okay, there we are done with one side. 
Yeah, we made it look awfully turdy. The turd is now brown and black. Oh yeah. All right, over on the other side here. See where that problem is. Oh yeah, it's gapped way open. Okay, a lot of work to do here. Okay, I made it to this section. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. All right, but yeah, look at that. That is why we got so wet. Yeah. All right, almost finished with sealing the roof here. This edge was like almost two inches away from the camper um, because the board was rotting away on the inside. So we put a couple of small boards and then screwed through from the outside into those small boards. And now I'm just going to smear the goop over that seam and that should be it for the day for tarring. There's the goop. Definitely like right there, gotta cover that crack. Alright. Okay, carrying this panel up to see if we can cut it on the saw. It's one inch too long to fit in there. I'm wearing gloves, really, because there's still tar on my hands from the ceiling and I don't want to get tar all over here. So, hopefully this will cut. Try cutting this panel, see if it works. Just so big and awkward, it flops. It's right. loud. You flip it upside down and try and meet up at the same spot. Since we went out of our groove.
probably not the best way. Okay, I'm gonna slice you off a loaf of some sandwich bread here, make you some ham sandwich. You like the crust, the end piece? Or you want a middle piece? Middle piece of bread. Uh huh, yummy, yummy. Okay, we're gonna put up this panel, see how it looks. All right, there's a couple of screw holes already in here. That's nice and easy. All right, so we want to level the top, I think. Because the top's what we see. So the left side, yeah, there you go, show the top. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then, if we can get a hole over here on the right side, we should go at the top, probably. Yeah. Let's go in a little ways so we're not busting the corner out. Yeah. So what do you think? We could put a bunch of these panels in here and it'll be like the Coca-Cola turd camper. Uh, that doesn't really rhyme, does it? Not turd. So turd on the outside, cool on the inside. No turd. Turd on the outside, no. cool on the inside. All right, let's no get another turd. Screw. No turds? Well, after what we did on the roof today. It's got to look like it's turd. I think the name might be sticking. It might be. What kind of candy is like brown on the outside and good on the inside? Caramel? No, caramel's brown all over. Yeah. What about chocolate caramel? Chocolate caramel? I kind of don't think you get an idea here. Wait, so brown? Some kind of, some kind of secret candy. Brown on the in outside and good on the inside? I don't need that on super fast. Uh. So it's like yucky looking on the outside, but once you bite into it, it's like good. So that's what this can be. It can be Cream? like Cream? Twinkie? Twink. Well, Twinkies look good on the outside yeah. too. Yeah. I don't know. I have to think about that. Maybe you viewers can come up with a name for us. Something that looks like a turd on the outside, but it's cool on the inside. Yeah. Coca-Cola. It doesn't Coke. look like a turd on the outside. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It looks um, we're going to keep putting this panel on and we'll check back in with you in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna try and cut this next panel here. We put a table over there, and I'm gonna walk through the theory that it's gonna work. I also raised the blade just a little bit too because we were kind of popping out of where the blade was cutting. All right. Let's see what happens.
Okay, cutting the panel. That's an aggressive blade there. Glad we're not cutting the whole bottom of the panel with this thing. This is grabbing. Those, those teeth are pretty big. I think I need a finer tooth saw blade here. So stand by, we're gonna look for something else. All right, this one's got super jagged teeth. This one's got teeny tiny teeth. Let's see if that helps. Stick this in my pocket. I don't wanna put it in my mouth while I do this. <laughs> Gotta hold on to the loose end. It's like a wild ride. Did the trick though. All right, that's it for day number three. Day number three. Yeah. I uh, accomplished a lot today. It was a long day. Unfortunately, it rained in the morning, but that gave me a chance to do something else other than working on the turd camper. Um, and it also gave us a chance to see where all the leaks were. So, spent hours all the way up to supper patching leaks in the roof. Well, no, actually, we didn't. You remember, because you saw it like two minutes ago. We ran a bunch of electrical wires. Yeah, and then we patched the holes in the roof. All right, and now, what we did now was we put some panels inside, just to start, but let's go check them out. There they are. Oh yeah, you liking what you see? Hopefully, because there they are, yeah. So, like we talked about, some kind of candy. What are you going to call this candy? Looks like a turd on the outside and it's going to look cool on the inside. Think of it yet, like a chiclet or something? No, that's just like gum from Mexico or something. Yeah. Okay, I heard you wanted a sandwich. I'm going to make you a special sandwich because you know what we're cooking today? We're cooking in the portable turd mobile. It's like the taco wagon, but it's the turd wagon. So, going to get you a nice piece of bread here. You want a sandwich, right? Yep. All right. We're going to slice you off a piece of bread. Oh, tell Jimmy he needs to sharpen our knife here. Because your bread is a little stale. Ugh. Okay, stop it. <laughs> All right, we're back in the camper. Into its semi-permanent location.
there we go. It's not perfect, but got it somewhere where we're going to leave it for a little while. Just put cement blocks under each corner, except for this corner. Have to do that one later. Maybe get a jack. It's a little bit crooked, but it is a lot more stable inside than when it was just hooked to the truck. Okay, putting some boards here so that we can get some strength here. Then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna screw the panels into the boards. We have this big nasty gash right here. We ripped off that uh, bread looking foam insulation. And we'll put a nice thick board here. Screw that in. We're gonna have to put like a piece of metal patch over the outside probably. But yeah, let's screw this in here. Alright, making progress, yeah. Alright, we're gonna see if our bench fits. See how close we were to measuring here. I suppose I don't want to be on the side though. This is oh, fun. <laughs> Okay, so you can probably see you gotta go up or put the wire up and over. Alright, here we go. Okay. It's close, we'll just have to support it because otherwise oh, someone might fall through the front. Yeah. 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 Looks good. All right, got a handful of screws here. We're on the outside now. We're gonna screw our siding to those new panels of wood that we put in there. And hopefully keep the mice out. So first we start with this really bad area. Seems to be working so far. Looks good as new now. Tell you what, we're gonna probably want to hammer to pound that back into place in a minute. Just put random screws everywhere. <laughs> Why do I hear like mice? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, man, we're already chasing the mice away? <laughs> sure sounds like I'm making the mice mad. <laughs> uh, I want to grab a hammer so we can pound that flat. Otherwise, let's see, we also did here. Fix you. This is how you fix the guns <laughs> in your car. <laughs> Just take a hammer. Perfect car auto body repair. 
right. Oh, you can't just pound it. You gotta screw it. Yeah. How many screws can we put in? Uh, like 500. As many as, as, many as we want. Yeah. Right, that's too high. Yeah, it's looking good as new. Put a screw here. That part looks like it needs a screw. I think the tire needs one. No, no. Three no, gear needs a win. Oh, it's the turn. How did that happen? Oh. Yummy. Yeah, I guess it's turn and turn like every day. All right. Cool. All right. So we accomplished a lot again. Uh, this time it took a couple days. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt, but. Yeah, so we were working on the electrical wires, we were working on these coke panels, ceiling, tarring the ceiling. Yeah, so we'll have to wait till it rains to see how much still leaks, where we need to add some more tar, but uh, then we put the bench in place here. We haven't secured it, but we're sitting on it, relaxing in our camper, nice and uh, comfortable. Um, screwed some wall siding panels back together so keep the mice out yeah we're making progress a lot more to go but making great progress uh we've had this camper for one week i think one yeah. week yeah yeah i think we got it last sunday i don't know uh i think it was a thursday a thursday yeah, so we've had it more than one week. Time flies. We've had it like a week and three days or something. But yeah, making some great progress in that little bit of time. Thanks for watching. Keep your eye out for the next episode. Who knows what we'll do.